What's going on, Charles Bodenson? So, part one, which is right now, is really talking about your morning routine. Part two is actually seeing, going, and witnessing how I do the morning routine. And really, the biggest thing that you have to understand is that we all have morning routines. We all have a daily routine. We have a weekly routine, a monthly routine. And the thing is, most of us, we're not advancing. That like We, we don't need quantum leaps, but we need daily practices that are setting, up, setting us up for the opportunities that we could take advantage of. We have to get 1% better every single day. And the only way to get 1% better every single day is if you have a routine, you stick to the routine. So the problem that I had for 10 years, this is gonna be a longish video, I'll just get into that, is that the problem for me, and I'll start with this, is that if you don't have the mindset ready, it doesn't matter what I tell you to do. You have to have your mindset ready, all right? The, the reason I'm, I'm talking about the struggles that I went through before I tell you what to do is because we already know what to do. We already know what to do. We already know what not to do, yet we're not doing it. We, we, we know we need to go to the gym and eat well, but are we doing that? We know we should. It's the same thing with a morning routine. I could be like, you do this, 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 and you do that every single day. But the problem is, we start something, we don't continue it. We don't, we, there, can, there's no consistency. So I'll get into this, is that for 10 years, I've been really trying to go around a, an easy way to do my morning routine. I've, been, I've tried everything. I've tried a different alarm tr clock. I've tried waterfalls, waking up to waterfalls. I've tried no alarm clock. I tried it right near my bed, not right near my bed. I tried snoozing and then getting up on the second snooze. I've tried uh, journaling and then reading and then you know watching something motivational. I've, I've literally tried everything for 10 years. I, I went to, to tens of thousands of dollars worth, probably by now hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of seminars, and I've taken a little bit of everything. So I borrowed it from a lot of different people. There's obviously great books out there, which is called Morning, Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Highly recommend that. That's linked below. That's an easy read, super easy. So the reason I'm telling you that is that because I've, not only have I tried everything, you are totally different than me. Okay, we're a different age, we're different. I don't know what your obligations are. I don't know if you have schoolwork, if you have multiple jobs, you have kids, you have a spouse, you have an at-home business, you have a dog you need to walk. I don't know. However, you need to do a morning routine because you already have a morning routine. I don't know what it is, but you already have a morning routine. Do you snooze the alarm? Do you get out of bed immediately? Do you not? Do you go on social media? Is your phone on airplane mode? Is it right near you? Do you check emails? Do you get up and then go get coffee? And then when you get coffee, you sit down and you turn on the news. Do you watch TV? Do you watch reality TV? You already have a morning routine. The thing is, you have to start small. You have to start small. If you start and you're like, I'm gonna do everything that Jaws does, you're gonna fail. Because I did that for 10 years and it never worked. I'm gonna do this and this and this, and it was just so overwhelming, I just, I never did it consistently, all right? So I'm just gonna be honest right now is that what I'm doing right now works for me. It may not work for you. It works for me, and I've been doing it for 30 days. I've been doing it every day for 30 days. So I've, I've had a morning routine, but the morning routine I'm talking about right now, I've done for 30 days, I absolutely love it. So number one is I, and this is me, this is me, like I said, you do you, okay? But start small. Number one is wake up, your phone is on airplane mode. There, why? Because you don't get any texts, you don't get any phone calls, you don't get any notifications. By the way, you should not be getting any notifications. You need to turn off your notifications and you should only get text messages and phone calls and that's it. No Facebook, no Instagram, no emails, nothing, nothing from any other thing. Phone is on airplane mode and you don't snooze it. You have to get in, there's a YouTube video that I saw a little while back and they said if you snooze your alarm, I think it was Mel Robbins. Mel Robbins, unbelievable woman and she wrote the book, Stop Saying You're Fine. I'll link that below. And obviously the post, which has everything I'm gonna be talking about is also linked below. So she says when you snooze your alarm, it's like you're already giving into the day. You're giving into the day. That you're allowing that, that, that victory, that small little victory of turning off your alarm and getting out of bed, you already failed. You already failed. You, you, an opportunity to prove your, to your mind that you're ready to kick ass and take names, you already failed. So don't snooze your alarm. For me, I have to have my alarm away from me because if my alarm is right there, I may snooze it or I may go on it and look at social media in the comfort of my bed. So I have my alarm away from me on airplane mode and I don't snooze it, I have to get out of bed. Number two is, this is more expensive and 
it, like I said, you don't need to do anything that I, I tell you, but I have uh, Alexa, which is Amazon Echo. I think that's the name of it. And it's connected to Hue Lighting. Hue Lighting essentially, and you'll see in part two, is something that I say, Alexa lights on, the lights turn on, and I have different modes. So I have a really dim setting. So I don't need to go and fumble around for lights. I say Alexa lights on and the lights turn on and, I, and I'm already out of bed because my phone is away from me and I'm ready to kick ass and take names. Number one is uh, do not go on anything that you're actually going to distract you. Whatever that is, it could be a dating website, it could be Instagram, it could be Facebook, it could be ESPN, it could be email, nothing. No social, nothing. I don't care what it is, don't go on your phone. Number two is I, I wake up an hour before I leave for the day. So a half an hour, I'm gonna get into the timing, a half an hour is dedicated to getting ready and half an hour is to the morning routine. So half an hour, I get my bag packed, I make my bed, I change it into my gym clothes. All right, during that time, I put on Bose headsets the Bose headset is noise canceling, it's Wi-Fi or it's Bluetooth, it's expensive, you don't need to do that. However, when I wake up, I put on uh, Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson is a YouTube channel, highly recommend watching his stuff. I subscribe to it, which is $10 a month. Obviously, if you want, you can go over in the post and it has all of the links to sign up and everything like that. And I listen to an, it's a, it's a review of a book. And Brian Johnson's really good at it. So each day, each morning, I listen to the review of a book while I'm getting ready for the day and everything else. I take my vitamins, which I have way too many vitamins. I have probably 12 vitamins, and they're good. They're really good vitamins. And I drink 30 ounces of water, which is that bottle, which is the same bottle as this. I literally, I have one at work and I have one at home. So I drink one of these right when I wake up. You could put some lemon in there, which alkaline alkalizes the water. Alkalizes that the correct terminology. Again, all of this is linked in the post and down below. So I drink a, a bottle or drink one of these vitamins. So I drink probably up until about right here. And I don't know if that's zoomed in or not. So I drink about up until right here, drink all that. I wait about five minutes. I let that go down my system. And then the last is I take the vitamins because if you take the vitamins up here, then it's really not that good because uh, you're actually washing it through your system and then it just discards without actually getting absorbed into your system. So once I'm done with that and I'm ready to go, I made my bed, I got, I packed my clothes away, gym bag, get dressed, everything else. The audio, the audio or the book review is done. I then go over to my MacBook and you're going to see it all in part two. I go over to my MacBook, I turn on a motivational, turn on motivational music. Again, this is all uh, linked on the post. Walk over, do the five minute journal, which is super easy, amazing, incredible, highly recommend that. I'm standing on a, on a mat that's very comfortable. I have my little stand. It's, it's actually a music stand, ironically enough, but I use it to journal because it's, it's a badass stand. And like I said, I, I obviously, I do all right on financially, so I'm not a college kid. If I was a college kid, I'd be sitting on the couch with my five minute journal and using the regular headphones that's plugged into my, my cell phone. So you, you could do this, or, or instead of buying this, you just get a glass of water. You know, you don't, and you don't need the vitamins. I'm just saying, do what you can with what you can, all right? So then I go over and I read, there's a great book by, I forgot his name, and the, the book, which is, uh, it's called The Daily Reader. I forgot his name, but he's, he's come out with a ton of books, and it's all linked there. And there's a little passage in there, it's only one page, great page. Go over, sit down on the couch. So I read a passage, I go to the five minute journal, I walk over to my couch, I stand up straight, and there's a breathing exercise where you can see online, I forgot the name of it, but you, you go like this, and your eyes are closed, and it's, I think it's in, in India or in Pakistan, I think it's India. And it's a breathing exercise that really grounds you, grounds your heart, grounds your mind. And then I sit there and I do 10 minutes of gratitude, or 10 minutes. And I sit there for 10 minutes, the first three minutes roughly, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter. And I do 30 of these and your eyes are closed and you do it rapidly. And the first three minutes you are, I'm thinking of my body and saying everything is healed. And I just go into my body and if there's anything, if there's aches or pains or my, I don't know, I, I have, you know, a blister or something. I just, I focus on, I say, it's all, it's all, you know, healthy, it's all clean, it's all good. 
and anything, you know, like, because in the future, there's gonna be things like a stroke or a heart attack or cancer or something like that, so I wanna start now. And I just say, I'm healthy, I'm free, I'm blah, 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 and you focus on your body. And actually, I, I imagine something like power, God, source, universe, whatever you wanna say, coming through my body and, and making me heal, making myself healed and just powerful. The next three minutes are about, and I don't have a timer, I'm just saying roughly. The next three minutes is about gratitude. I think of people that are really special in my life, I send them gratitude, I send them love, and obviously my eyes are closed. I then focus on what I'm grateful for. I always say my health, that's number one. Obviously all the people around me, my business, uh, you know, my clients, uh, you know, you know I, I, anyone that means something to me. And I, even for the smallest things, Tony Robbins thought of this, just the smallest things, the chair I'm sitting on, the air I'm breathing, the heart that beats that I don't need to do anything for, the mind that allows me to move forward in the world or to get better or to read, to learn, my eyes, my hearing, you know, that I have my limbs, that, you know, I'm, I'm a young guy, you know, all these things that you, you need to be gracious for, you need to have gratitude for. And then the third part while I'm sitting there is about the day. How am I actually going to move throughout the day? Are there any challenges that I need to conquer and I imagine myself conquering those challenges. So moving on real quick, I then go over to the rebounder and the rebounder essentially is a little area or it's a little, it's like a mini trampoline and you bounce on it and essentially it moves your limbs in your body. Look up the benefits of that. And the limbs, because you've been sitting and you've been sedentary, your, your limbs, which are pretty much like the, the ambulance within your blood, are they need to move and they need to go around and if you have clogged the link, limbs, that's not good because that means you have inflammation, that you're not healthy, you're not moving, you're not exercising, you're, you're sitting down a lot. So that kind of gets the, the limbs going, it, it's bouncing around and everything else. Obviously it gets your heartbeat going, it gets your mind going, and then when I'm standing, I'm bouncing around, not too high, you know, it's, I live in an apartment building, so I'm bouncing around, I'm looking at a mirror, and I'm imagine or I'm reading the, literally there's things that I read that I need to focus on for that day, you know, and I'll just give you an example of those things because, I'll give you what you could be reading. You can read anything. It could be your goals. It could be your gratitude. It could be a prayer. It could be, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want. But for me, it's essentially the items that I need to focus on. So I read two pages. It's not two pages, but it's the first part is and for each day, so each day, so Monday, vision, virtue, question, then Tuesday, I focus on what I need to focus on, and then Wednesday is about relationships, Friday is about value, so it depends on obviously the day. So then I read whatever I need to on that, and obviously the link for that is the examples are in there in the, uh, in the post below. And then the second part, which is the most important part, are things that I need to focus on. Because I, was, I wasn't the most secure child growing up, so I need to get the confidence in certain areas, say selling or marketing or public speaking or say relationships or holding on to relationships with a client, with a girl, with my family, whatever the case is, being a good leader, being a good boss, being a visionary, a creative, whatever the case is. So I, I go over and these are things that I say. I say, I expect to win. I do the best I can. I live in abundance. This too shall pass. So this too shall pass is if there's something really challenging happening, whether I'm at the gym and I'm just really pushing myself and I just, I just think about that and I'm ready to quit and I just say, this too shall pass. It's also like if something bad in business happens, I say, this will pass. I say, I take massive action. I invest in the process. I practice to get better. So that's all gonna be linked up. You could read through that. Uh, you put whatever you want. You know, th I, this changes, by the way, this changes like weekly, it could change monthly, whatever. Whenever I've already thought and have internalized something, like one of them is I step on the gas when succeeding. So in other words, what I would do is I would self-sabotage myself. I would, I would succeed, whether in a relationship, where in a relationship, in other words, like I'm in a really good relationship, but I've never been in a really good relationship, so I self-sabotage myself to not be good. And that happens in business or my body or my health. Like I'm doing really well. I'm eating really well for a week, and then I just go on this three-day bender of eating like crap, and I self-sabotage myself. So now I say, when I'm succeeding at something, whether I'm eating well or I'm, I'm uh, making sales phone calls or whatever, I say, when I'm su succeeding, I step on the gas. In other words, I keep on going. So you, for anything that you, you, you hear a quote or you do anything, this is perfect for you to remember it. So I know it sounds like a lot, 
But when you see the second part, and obviously I'm pushing 16 minutes, excuse me, when you see the second part, you'll see that it, it, it only takes about half an hour, but the reason that I'm explaining it is because I'm explaining why I do it. And you can take things out, you can insert whatever, you could read more, you can journal, you can blog, you can do whatever. You can go to the gym, then come back and do it, you can meditate, I don't know, you can do whatever works for you. I'm just saying this is what I do. And to be honest, I go over, I have the gratitude, I go over my goals, I also do a little bit of health with the drinking, the water and the vitamins, so it encompasses a lot. So I highly recommend the, the morning, the Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And if you have any questions, which there will definitely be questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll definitely get around to answering it. And like I said before, is that you have to start small. You have to start small. You have to. So, and I'll just talk about timing is I wake up between 5 and 5.30, which every single day. And the reason being is that number one is I'm a morning guy. I love the morning. I need to get things done. I'm not, an, I'm not a night guy. You know, like, yeah, I'll be out and everything else. And when I'm in the mood to party or go to dinner or I'm at an event, I'm there fully. But I wake up at 5, 5.30 and I'm in bed by like nine, roughly. And you're like, Charles, nine o'clock? I know, I used to think nine o'clock was like a time that I came home and then I went to bed at 11. But it's up to you. Start small, it's taken me years. Do your thing, but number one is just start. Just start. Start right now, start today. Do something small, be consistent, because if you don't have a morning routine that you're succeeding in life with, you don't have a morning routine. You just have a routine. You have a habit, and, and once you start the habit, you can't get out of it. So any questions, let me know. All the links and everything that I use are in the post and, and below, so have an awesome day. I'll talk to you guys soon.